All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this film was such a blast, it was such a joy. It is the review for the 2024 action comedy film called The Killer's Game, starring Dave Bautista. Now, here's the plot. When a hitman is diagnosed with a terminal illness, he decides to take a, a hit out on himself. But when he finds out there was a mistake, he must fend off an army of assassin colleagues. Now, here are some of the cast. This was very entertaining to watch from beginning to end. Way more of an action film with goofiness than an action comedy, to be honest. But it definitely had its comedy to it. Um, I really don't want to explain that. I was trying to think how to explain the difference between that. I, I, I guess I'm only the one seeing that. But it, it, it's really funny. But the story was actually very good and solid. I love the di editing and how of how they went with transitions and the whole split screen design also the action may have some over the topness to it but the but was bloody and good and well done camera work and fight choreography during each fight scene and it gets more and more uh, graphic and over the top as it goes but i think that really adds to the feel of the comedy type of feel to it um to each character as well. I also love that they had different kinds of characters that stood out with different theming to them. The thick accent, thick accent Irish men was my favorite of the side characters, was laughing my butt off at how ridiculous and how much Scott Atkins laid way too much into it. And I don't mean it too much in a bad way. I mean, he really did a good job and it fit. With the, uh, it was it was definitely him his character, him, the way he does stuff is, uh, um, he does it overboard on purpose when it needs to be done. And he's a martial artist, so he does really, really good martial arts. Um, but this is kind of his other thing. And when it comes to these films, he's really, really good at laying it in and then making you laugh. Um, but yeah, so here's my writing. I'll come back to my fallouts. The film got more and more funny as it went on. It started off about 20 minutes in where it was just starting to be just real, come off like it's really seriously and with a little bit of goofiness coming in. And then it gets going and going and going. But love the main characters acting and stories. Such a great way to end the weekend. I totally recommend this film. Again, I had such a damn blast with this film. I've been having such a rough couple of months, even more so, worse these past two weeks. And I honestly, this brought up my mood so, so, so much by the end. I absolutely loved it. It has a good amount of even amount of comedy, good amount of action that's a little bit over the top and a bit bloody, uh, subtle stuff. And it just has a good story to it with very good actor in my opinion. Now, I know there's people that probably don't like Dave Pazuzu's acting, which I don't understand. I think he's a good actor. Do I think he's award-winning? No. Not everyone has to be like a uh, uh, the Titanic guy, whatever his name is, um, uh, or, or, or De Niro or anything like that. You know, it just has to be a good enough that it fits the character and doesn't take you away from liking their character and the story. Um, but as always, leave your comments down below. I'm always very curious to know what your thoughts are. Uh, either way, I love this film so much. It's definitely, to me, not forgettable like I thought it was going to be going into this. But yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.